Okay, today we're going to show you how to change your My Content within StudentNet to look similar to this, where you have three document libraries, Word documents, PowerPoint files and spreadsheet documents. Remember, to get to your My Site, you have to click on your name at the top right and select My Site, and you then have to choose My Content in order to see these document libraries. At the moment, you've got a shared library, um, shared documents, and you have one that's called Personal Documents. First of all, to change the name of your library, click on the heading. So in your case, click on the one that says Personal Documents. And then from the Library Tools area, choose Library, and then Library Settings on the right-hand side. Choose Title, Description, and Navigation, and then just edit the word Personal, replace it with Word, and then Save and you will also, when you go back to My Content, then have a Word Documents library rather than a Personal Documents library. OK, to create a new library, you want to go to the heading on the menu on the left, Libraries. You want to choose Create. You then need Library Selected and Document Library. OK, so choose Library, Document Library and type in what you want this new library to be called. So if I call it PowerPoints and then have a look at the options. The important thing to do here is to tell it that you want to use PowerPoint presentations in this library. And you can see from the list that you can create document libraries for a variety of other types, including your spreadsheets. But in this case, we want PowerPoints. And then you do Create. OK, so let's just go back to my content and we'll see what's happened. On the left-hand menu, I now have this extra library I've created called PowerPoints. What if I want it here alongside all these other ones? And to do that, you have to select Site Actions and Edit Page. OK, now these are called web parts and what you do is you choose which web parts you want to place on the page. So let's say I want to get rid of this PowerPoint files. Each web part as a little drop down menu and I can delete it. It doesn't get rid of the document library, it simply removes it from being displayed on the main screen. I'll get rid of the spreadsheets documents as well. So at the minute if I just finish editing um, and go back to my content, I've now just got one document library showing. I just removed the others but I still have these libraries on the left, they still exist. Let's do that again, Site Actions and Edit Page. And now I want to add a web part because I'd like to put my new PowerPoint library here. So let's add a web part. It's going to show me everything, loads and loads of things. And I want just lists and libraries so that I can find it. If I open this document library, PowerPoints, and I go to Documents in the Tools menu and choose new document it now says I can make a new PowerPoint document. Okay.